Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you some of the things that Google has added to Google Arts and Culture specifically for teachers and students. Let's go ahead and take a look. So Google Arts and Culture is kind of the replacement for Google Expeditions, which Google is shutting down at the end of this school year. So June of 2021, Google Expeditions will be shut down. And it's kind of going to be replaced by Google Arts and Culture, which you'll find at artsandculture.google.com slash project slash education if you want to go to the education section of it. I'll put a link for it in the description of the video. Now, you can go through here and you know take a look at the tips for teachers. They're pretty basic tips for teachers, to be honest with you. And the links that are included in here, well, some of these links don't actually work. If I click on it, you'll see you know, that link doesn't actually work. So this little tips for teachers page actually isn't all that helpful. So let's go back and take a look and see, all right, these are all things that you could do just by going to the regular arts and culture page without going to the teacher center. But this is what makes it useful to teachers the downloadable lesson plans so you can scroll through all these lesson plans and these will all open up as pdfs let's just take a look at the first one here the, the dinosaurs so let's click on the dinosaurs lesson plan and that opens up this pdf it's a 31 page pdf and it is a step-by-step -step overview of what to do with this Google Arts and Culture section about dinosaurs. You can see it's broken down here of what you're going to need. And we can see here, okay, some learning objectives. But as we go through, we'll jump into chapter one. We'll see that there are links embedded within here. So click here to explore an example of giants. Now, that little piece takes us right in and we can go and see this. And now let's go back, we'll go back into the PDF. One of the things that happens here that you'll wanna teach your students to do is when they click on a link that's in here, you wanna get them to right click and open it in a new tab. So they don't have to use the back button in their browser in order to, uh, to see this. So they can see it here. now. As the teacher, here's a little shortcut, here's a little tip. If you're signed in as a teacher, signed into your Google account, click this little share button and you can put this right into your Google Classroom so your students can have the, a look at those things in advance before they look at the PDF. As a teacher signed in, you could also just click that little heart button and favorite it and then if you go into your favorites, you'll see there's that item right in your favorites and you can access it again and you can share it again right there. Okay, I'll talk more about favorites in just a moment here. So there's our lesson plan. You can see we can scroll through here. Now we'll see that there's more. There's a little note here for students to take notes because there's a quiz at the end. Now click here to learn your awesome facts. Again, that takes students into this online exhibit. And again, if you wanted to share this without having to share the whole lesson plan, you could add it to your favorites and you could then use that built-in share to Google Classroom and put it right into Google Classroom and have your students look at it without necessarily having to use that entire lesson plan. And there are lesson plans about all kinds of things available here in the Education Center for Google Arts and Culture. Now, if we go further down, we'll see all kinds of things for virtual field trips and you know, recommending taking kids on virtual field trips. Milestones of Flight is that one there. Let's take a look at that one. And again, we can scroll through and look at all of that. And as we scroll through here, we'll see this is using Google Street View imagery and you can spin around and look inside there. 
But again, if you want to share it with your students, the quickest way to share it, if you're a Google Classroom user, hit that share button, share it to Google Classroom. Now, if you use something else besides Google Classroom, just copy this link and put that link in your LMS. So if you're using Canvas or you're using uh, you know, Edmodo or any other LMS, just go ahead and copy that link, and put that link in your learning management system for your students to access the virtual tours that you want. And then finally, they have the options here for using your camera that's built into your phone. Okay. Now, again, this is going to require smart your students to have a smartphone, an Android or an iOS phone, and have the Arts and Culture app installed. Okay. And finally, down here, we have some experiments. Okay. And experiments are things that your students can try out. These are all interactive experiments. They're not experiments in terms of students are experimenting, but experiments in terms of things Google Google's trying out. You can have your students try those. But let's take one last quick look at the applied digital skills. And you can see here in applied digital skills, these are video courses designed for your students to help them improve their computer skills as Google thinks they need to be improved. And we'll see here, there's a little quiz, classmates about the Palace of Versailles, right? And this teaches kids how to create and share a quiz in Google Forms. If you wanna know how to make a quiz in Google Forms, I got a whole bunch of those tutorials on my YouTube channel. So that's a short overview of Google Arts and Cultures Education Center. And really the best part of it, from my perspective, is these lesson plans. And downloadable lesson plans that you can get as PDF and share with your students. Everything else you can share directly with your students. So if you wanted to just go to the Google Arts and Culture page and you wanted to share something with your students like explore NASA from home, this is a cool collection. You'll see there's 41 stories in there, uh, 100, almost 160,000 items in there. You could share that whole collection again on Google Classroom. And you'll see here, I'm going to put that in Google Classroom. Let's put it in my, uh, my, my demo class. Let's do my late summer demo class right there. And we'll say just create a material and post it there. And I'll post that for my students as a material right there in Google Classroom. Now I could also go in here and say, maybe I just want to share one part of it, like the Mars 2020 mission. And in this case, I'll share just the mission instead of, instead of sharing the entire collection with all 41 stories in there and all 160,000 images, I'm just going to share this one aspect here with my students and I'll post it right there. Now again, I can favorite this. I hit that little button and it's favorited. I earned the art collector badge for doing that. If I go into my favorites up here, we'll see the items I've collected, the stories. And again, I can share any one of these. There's my US history one that I stored. And I can share that with my students. So that's a short overview of Google's arts and culture and how you might use it as a teacher and how your students might see it as well. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.